Hello, folks, and welcome to your Whiteout Weather Briefing on this Thursday, November 11th, Veterans Day. I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Mark Hewer, and veterans, thank you very much for your service, both past and present. Well, Northwest Flow and the Jet Stream keeping a little bit of weather across the state of Wyoming today. Going to see continued areas with some strong winds and also a little bit of some additional light snow in a few locations tonight. Winds, though, not as strong on Friday. It's also looking mostly dry. Then high winds are going to come and go for the weekend and early next week. New snowfall will be rather limited, though. So what is a northwest flow? Well, we have Wyoming right here. A northwest flow is when the jet stream orientates itself from the northwest to the southeast across Wyoming, and that's due in part this time to a very strong low pressure system that's moving up over the Great Lakes. Also high pressure building into the southwestern United States, and we've got a powerful jet stream coming in from the northwest. It's bringing in a little bit of moisture and energy as well, and when you get all these black lines packed close together and the jet stream overhead, that's the perfect recipe for very strong and gusty winds across sections of Wyoming, due in part because of our relatively high elevation, four to 7,000 feet across lower elevations, and also our varied terrain. And when we have a little bit of moisture and energy moving in from the northwest as well, that brings light to moderate snow, a lot of which is over and near our mountain locations. So let's talk about the jet stream for a minute. We can see it here with these dark reds and orange and yellows and we have winds today out of the northwest associated with jet stream as strong as 150 to 175 miles an hour and that's helping to equate to winds here in southeastern wyoming along sections of i-25 especially i-80 gusting to 60 miles an hour and more over the course of tonight though the jet stream will start to shift eastward and that will allow our winds to relax some and this low pressure system also shifting east to northeast tonight and a weakening pressure gradient means less wind but still some strong and gusty winds. Let's move forward now to Saturday. Saturday is our next little weather disturbance. We have a small Pacific front and disturbance moving into the northern Rockies. It's not going to bring much moisture for Wyoming. Northern and northwestern mountains will see some, but it is another strong surge of the jet stream that will be pushing into the state over Saturday afternoon and evening that will likely create a high wind event across much of southern and southeastern Wyoming on Saturday afternoon and night. Could be looking at widespread 60 plus mile per hour wind gusts as we head into the weekend. So that's our next big concern. Radar across the state today with the northwest flow. You can see some rain and snow showers oriented from the northwest to the southeast. Earlier today, had some pretty good snow across the west and northwestern mountains and valleys, creating some slick and icy conditions. Currently seeing some snow across lower elevations and the snowies in Sierra Madres, also a little bit of the higher elevations of I-80 and in, in northwest flows. A lot of times the radar doesn't pick up a lot of the snow shower activity and these few rain showers we're seeing are pretty much evaporating before they hit the ground. So what was it like earlier today out in the west and northwest? Well, this is Teton Pass from early this afternoon. Two to four inches fell across our western mountains and some valleys, creating some slick and icy roads. I-80, this is at Arlington a little early this afternoon, also picking up some of those on and off snow showers. And we'll continue to see on and off light to some moderate snow showers around sections of I-80 and especially the southern mountains into and through tonight along with some continued strong and gusty but weakening winds so expect some periods of reduced visibility and also some developing slick and icy conditions and some black ice on sections of I-80. Over the course of tonight, what can we expect across the state as a whole? Well, the yellow shaded area here across southern and south central Wyoming, still going to be looking at some strong gusty winds, but our closures to light high profile vehicles on I-80 between Laramie and Rollins very well might get dropped tonight as we're looking at wind gusts dropping to that 45 to 50 mile per hour range on I-80, including between Laramie and Cheyenne, with widespread 15 to 25 mile per hour winds and gusts of 35 to 45 here through this yellow shaded area tonight. 
Also up in the northeast and east central Wyoming, still cold and blustery northwest winds, 15 to 25, gusts of 35 to 45 tonight. Elsewhere, brisk winds across the non-shaded area with mostly dry conditions. And here's that area of snow we're expecting in this evening and tonight from that northwest flow across south central Wyoming. Trace of two inches possible, mainly higher elevations, but also including I-80, maybe even between Laramie and Cheyenne, but especially towards the Arlington and Elk Mountain area. And that'll result in those slick and icy roads and some black ice. Then across the west and northwest tonight, northwest flow, keeping a little bit of some light snow and snow shower activity in the forecast. Trace to one inch possible, mainly on our mountain passes. For your Friday, you notice the snow basically has been removed from the forecast, at least enough to where we don't have to give you any of the shading, but we will see a trace to one inch of some light mountain snow and snow shower activity, especially perhaps in the Bighorns, then up in the Wind Rivers and Absorcas. Still some wind to contend with, but gusts likely to stay in that 45 to 55 mile per hour range, even the wind prone areas. So hopefully we can avoid high wind closures for light, high profile vehicles. Vehicles, and we'll be looking at a lot of west to northwest winds of 15 to 25 miles an hour and gusts of 30 to 40 through this yellow shaded area and also on the west side of the Bighorn Basin for your Friday brisk west to northwest winds and near average temperatures elsewhere here in Wyoming. And that means 40s, lower 50s for highs across lower elevations. So road impact forecast for your Friday. We have the moderate impacts expected across sections of I-25 and or I-80, excuse me, and South Central Wyoming for your Friday morning. Areas of slick roads and black ice, including sections of I-80, with those strong northwest to west winds of 45 to 55 miles an hour. Also then across the west and northwest, some slick areas and black ice possible mainly on higher elevation roads, but also our valleys in the morning hours. Then we'll be looking at mostly dry PM roads. Elsewhere through the state, the green shade areas, some slick spots and areas mainly in higher elevations in the morning with those breezy to strong west and northwest winds. Thanks for watching today and we'll talk to you tomorrow.